Thank you so much, you and now I ask, I beg, implore all of you to please listen and listen very carefully. The Convention for International Trade in Endangered Species has seen the Conference of Parties meeting about issues in wildlife endangerment and awareness, absolutely vital now, since this past weekend. One of the causes that is taking centre stage is the plight of the white lion. And we have the founder of the Global White Lion Protection Trust, Linda Tucker, in studio with us to chat about this very important cause. Linda, thank you so much. The, the hairs on my arm are already rising, just thinking morning, about James. the white lion. Lion, could we have a better poster child for endangered species? Why are you so passionate about this particular species? Well, good morning, Graham. Good morning, South Africa. I've spent my life um, attempting to protect this iconic species. And the, the, the sad news is that they're still not protected by international law. In fact, the situation right now is that the white lion is the most desired trophy on the planet. Shocking. I'm going to give that yeah. a moment for you to, to let that sink in. This is something that we revere, and this yeah. is something that people are putting up on a wall as a trophy. Mm -hmm. The most important part of this puzzle, engaging with the greater population out there, and you've got some wonderful tools to do that. Talk me through the competition that you guys have, have recently launched. Okay, well, if you think that I've been doing this for a few decades now, and yet there's no international law to protect the white lions, we've taken a new strategy recognising that the youth is the, the future. Because, to be honest, you, you mentioned CITES, which is taking place right now in Johannesburg. We were part of a 135-strong um, rally that opened with CITES last Saturday around the world, the lion, rhino, and elephant rally, calling for zero trade in these animals. Now, CITES, the Convention for the International Trade of Endangered Species, I think it's about time we start looking at our governing bodies and asking, are they using the right approach for protecting endangered species? Why is trade the main consideration? And if you look at, uh, CITES has three categories, uh, CITES Appendix 1, 2, and 3. I used to think that one of them protects at species. least one. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but actually all of them allow for trade. There's no zero trade. So this should, we're saying there should be Appendix 0 for critically endangered species. Um, and I know there are a huge amount of people that would agree with you, those working on the front lines who see this drama playing out on a daily basis. Right. What I love is that you've actually engaged the younger generation who Absolutely. don't carry the baggage that we carry, that have a message of hope to spread. And I actually want to show you one of the entrants, Yam Yardini, um, shot this in India. Let's take a look. of this competition, this youth campaign called the One United Raw Talent Challenge. And you see, it's not a competition because when you're saving the earth, it's a collaboration. So yes, there were six international winners from around the world. Yam, who you mentioned, came from India. I think that's a clip from a British um, submission that won. So there were six winners in a pride of what we call star lions. <laughs> so they, they're going to unite with South Africans. There was a South African winner who was spectacular as well. And it's a, it's a group or a pride of young uh, lion-hearted leaders who are going to represent the lions in these policies. So the basis of this uh, youth competition was, um, it was based on an African proverb which says, until the lion learns to speak, the story will be told from the hunter's perspective. It's pretty tragic if you think that, you That's know, so humans true, have sat yeah. down and made these policies without for a moment saying, OK, let the lion sit here with us. And what would the lion be saying about these policies? Because our policies allow for absolute uh, irreverence, you know, yeah. lions in cages. I could, I could give you the statistics around lions today, which are dire. Um, but the bottom line is they're declining in the wild drastically and their numbers are increasing in captivity. In canned you know? lion situations exactly. more often than not. So, so the worst statistic of all is that there are more lions in cages today than in the wild. I mean, that's what we're sitting with. And, and the outcome is that lions will be extinct in our lifetimes. Lions extinct in our lifetimes. So that's what this campaign is about, is to reach to the heart of the youth because when you get talented youth, you can actually speak from the heart and represent nature in these cold-hearted, 
corridors of power that are deciding the fate of our endangered species. Oh, unbelievable. More lions in captivity than in the wild. Linda, thank you so much for joining us. But moreover, thank you, thank you for your efforts that you put in every day. I know you're itching to get back out into the wild, so we'll let you do that. Um, but please, you can thank connect you, with us on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Get all of the details on how you can support, uh, support this incredible initiative. We're going to take a very quick ad break. We'll see you for more inspiration on the other side. Thank you.